OI countdown. Now this is what you'll see if you launch the app with no timers. So let's create one. Now let's call it bake cake. And let's set this to a duration of 40 minutes. Now you can press the plus or minus, or you can go and type in the desired time. Oops. Okay. Now, here are the notification settings. Now you can select it so that if the app is closed, you get a notification in the drop down here. So if you check that off, then you get these other options. So you can set it to ring, which will use your ringtone, uh, to vibrate, and you can set it to light. Now this action uh, selection is so you can launch another task, such as uh, automation tasks or shortcuts, which includes other applications like dialing a number, sending a message, and so on. Go back. Okay, so let's create this task. Okay, let's go press back to go back to the main menu. Now let's create another timer for when I have to sign up for the race tomorrow that I'm running in. Now, let's create another timer. You do this from this menu, from going menu, add countdown, and it pulls up the same screen. So you can make the day entry show up by pressing this plus button. So I'll do it for one day, six hours, and I'll keep the same settings down here. And I'll name it race. Click start. Now let's say I have an exact time that I want the timer to go off. I can do this by pressing the menu, then date. So let's do this. So if I go menu, set date, oh, I forgot, you have to press stop, you have to stop the timer. Menu, set date, it allows you to enter a date and a time of day instead of a duration. So I'll just leave that as, if you want to change it, you just simply click on them and click set and I'll click start. Now, let's see what happens when a timer goes off. To do this, I'm going to modify our bake cake uh, timer. So, to modify one, you can either long press and click edit, or you can click on it and click modify. So I'm going to change this to ten seconds. And I'm going to Go back to the main menu to show what it happens. Now, no sound is going to hap uh, be heard because of the fact that it's running an emulator. And it's not going to vibrate. But you can get the gist of it by this demonstration. So, the timer has gone off. So I can drag down the notification pane. And you can see it shows the name of the timer. The time left, which since it went off is 0, 0. And to dismiss it, because there would be noise going off right now, you can simply click on it. Now, you can also, if you want to hear a different noise for when it went off, click menu and ringtone. That would change, the, you'd have, on a normal device, you would have op different options. And that is OI Countdown.